Yes, yes, yes. For example, uh, let's say you are implementing this. Uh, let's say we are implementing Xerox uh, Corporation is our client. We are implementing HCM because uh, the client is having around uh, uh, 50,000 employees, for example. Okay. So 50,000 employees they have. So what client says that out of 50,000 uh, employees, I need the access to the fission applications only for 5,000 employees. It means uh, 5,000 uh, employees are supposed to get the license for login to the applications. How about remaining 45,000 employees? This 45,000 employees, I'm just uh, managing their services uh, and I'm just paying the salary to them and uh, generate the pay slips and manually I'm going to queue. So they don't log into the Fusion applications. Only 5,000 employees will log in my finance department or HCM department, HR department, and some of the IT related departments people will go and log in and check their uh, self-information. So what we'll do is uh, here, whenever we are hiring an employees, only for 5,000 employees only we'll create a username and password. Remaining 45,000 employees, we are just managing that information and we are paying the salary or we are just updating their uh, uh, leave details manually in the system. So because uh, a client may not be required all the 50,000 logins, right? Because there will be employees at different levels, right? From the uh, grade A, B, C, D. So client says that only grade A people will log into Fission. Remaining people will not log in. So that information HR department will update manually. So that time we don't need to, we'll hire employee because we have to maintain that 45,000 employees data, but we don't give any credentials to them because uh, we want to manage their information. They should not log into the application and uh, perform any operations. They'll be having uh, some operations day-to-day -day work uh, that is uh, non-IT related. Okay, so that that they'll go for explain manually that we are going to update. We in the sense HR department or finance department or uh, procurement department, whoever it is. So here we'll maintain the credentials, means username and password only for 5,000 employees. So that we can uh, uh, that we can go for, uh, you know, uh, maintain at the setup level, enterprise HCM level, we can specify whether we want to have the username and password for every employee or we wanted to have the username uh, for only few employees that we can restrict according to our requirement. Where do we do that is uh, generally when we go for enterprise uh, HCM information. This is the task here, enterprise HCM information. Sometimes in the interviews, they'll be asking, uh, uh, asking us like, uh, you know, what is the volume of your client? Volume in the sense total employee strength you are going to manage, 50,000 employees. How about the logins? Uh, it's 5,000 logins. So remaining 45,000, just we are maintaining the information. Here you will specify the user account you wanted to have for employees for every user or every employee or not. Yeah. Person means employee. 40 users are nothing but uh, customers, suppliers, and third party maybe they wanted to log in and check some other information. But actually in the cloud, most of the people has started working with the application nowadays, every employee, even though they have some non-IT employees also, uh, what the clients are doing, they are giving the facility for their employees to log in and check their pay slips, apply for the leaves, check the balances, uh, update their personal skills information, personal information and all. Uh, so obviously you have to provide username and password and basic role, employee roles basic role we have to provide. They can't perform any business data. They can just update their self-information in the product. We call it as employee self-service option. Okay, so it's up to the client for how many employees they wanted to have the application uh, transactions performance and uh, how many employees they don't want here it is that we will go for manage. So whether it's not mandatory that for every employee we required an username and password when we are managing here it is. Okay, yeah, thank you. Yeah, and sir, uh, uh, one more doubt, sir. For example, if I got an, a requirement of my client only, so they said, my client said, like, you know, uh, 5,000 users are created at a time. Is it possible to create for that 5,000 employees at a time, or we can also create for an individual? We cannot, uh, we, we can load it. 
we can load the data of 5000 employees and we can create usernames means uh, uh, the moment when we load immediately system takes last name dot first name and create a user account automatically there is a concept called data loading right this is required so for example you are implementing uh, in 2024 uh, this HCM for your client. Earlier, your client might be using some .NET application uh, where he was using some database or uh, SQL server to manage the data and all the 50,000 employees data is there. 50,000 uh, employee information is there in this uh, database. Now we are implementing HCM. So here, uh, what technical developer will do? He will develop HDL program and he will migrate all this 50,000 employees information into the uh, fusion applications. That, that we call it as a data conversion or data loading. So new employees, whoever is joining from today, once we implement the product, they'll go for manually hiring in the application instead of data loading. Got it, sir. Okay, 